Good morning and welcome to Sewing Street. I'm John Cole Morgan and I'm really pleased to be able to welcome you and to show you some of the most fantastic products that we've had on the show. I have got so much to show you. I'm going to start off with our fantastic early bird special. Um, this is, as many of you know, the early bird special is the early bird catches the worm. So uh, these are available on our website. You can get them at www.sewingstreet.com. Fairly nice, you can call our call centre on 0800 001 4433. And the product that we have are quilt hangers. And I saw them on the list and I thought, never used them. What's, why? And they're fantastic. Fantastic. On these, you can see there's a tiny little marble in there. And if I go, if I tap it like that, you can see there's a little marble moving along in there. And all that happens is you pop them onto, you get the marble at the back, you pop your fabric or quilt or whatever in between the, the product, and just give it a little tap, and then it works. And it really does work, and I know it looked a bit fiddly at that point, but it's just trying to position the marbles so that it actually connects to your product. And the great thing is, is this is in a, a, a very neutral wood, so you can either leave it in the wood colour, or you can sand those down and paint them the colour of your room. But, once you've got them all connected, you then hang your quilt accordingly. So I've got a whole quilt on here, so this is a lot of fabric on there, and it's, I know these are two that are close together, but on the Early Bird Special today, you're going to get four of them for $16.98. So what I love about this is for several reasons. First of all, you can hold something really heavy on it. So let's say you're hanging a quilt, because I'm finding these days I'm hanging quilts more than I'm using using them on the bed because you've spent so much time on them you want people to look at them and enjoy them and you can see all I've done is I've tilted this back I've pulled the fabric a little bit back and it comes off so I've released those very easily so let's say you've now painted them ready for the next to put the next quilt up or the next season you then all you're doing is you slide them back get them loose and you put them back on Make sure your marble is at the back in the little, when you look at it, it's got a little reservoir where the marble goes in. You then push that back in and then, oh, come on. There we go. That's connected. And I know it seems fiddly and I promise you it's really not. It's just trying to do it live on telly for it to work for you. You'll see. You just got that lovely little marble in there. And... You get your fabric all sorted, lean it forward. Oh, come on. There we go. And this side, I'll double check it's connected. And again, you've got the, it's all connected up perfectly. So it's just so quick and easy. That was less than a minute to change it. So if you have got a quilt that you want to display or you've got two or three quilts that you want to display, it's so easy to change. But then I thought to myself, well, that's all very well and good on a lovely thick piece of, of fabric. What about something that's going to show if there's a mark? So I'm going to ask Joe to switch to the overhead and you're going to see that our pattern, it doesn't have any marks on the front of it. You can see there with the shine. And I'm going to take my little quilt hanger. I'm going to put that in the middle of it and I'm going to tilt it down so you can see I'm holding it up exactly as it is. Something really lightweight, holding it like that. It's not going anywhere. Nice and sturdy and because this is quite slippy fabric, oh paper as well, tip it back and if we flip back to the overhead absolutely no damage to your fabric or to your piece of paper at all. So this will hold something really heavy, it'll hold something really light, so it'll be great if you've done for example a machine embroidery, you'll be able to put something, machine, any form of pro uh, projects on you. I'm just looking here, because you've got four pieces, it's saying you can hold something that's 1.5 to 2.2 meters in width. So that's a really sturdy piece of fabric that you can hold on there. So 1.5 by 2, two that's 100 inches, I think. Up to 100 inches if you're looking in the Imperial. 
That's right, isn't it? 40 and 40 is 80 plus 20. Yes, up to about, call it 95 inches just for safety. But yeah, they're really, really good products. Really interesting. I've not seen them before. It's got these wonderful little uh, notches in the back which you can attach onto the wall. So you just plop that onto the wall. I would love to be able to show you how to put that on a wall, but I would have to point very co copiously and not know what to do with that. But again, these are lovely. You can paint them any color you like. Just a really, really lovely product and something really fun because we work so hard on these quilts. Having them out on the wall and showing them around, I think that's a really great product. So that is our early bird special. So check that out on the website or call into the call centre. One day PNP all day, three ninety five, And yeah, have a look. Yesterday we had the most fantastic Liberty Day. I'm just going to re-show you one of our products because we were having a little bit of a problem with the pictures on the website. I'm not going to go through all the fabrics again because you can watch the show yesterday at 9 o'clock. Was it 9 o'clock or 10 o'clock? It may have been 10 o'clock, sorry, they all blur together at the minute. It was the 9 o'clock show. So if you go through the 9 o'clock show, you'll be able to see all these fabrics. I show them all out for you. Um, but it's just a lovely, lovely range. So here you're getting five and a half meters of fabric and effectively paying, paying for five meters of fabric because, no, you're not, you're paying for five, yes, you are, paying for five meters of fabric because it's seven pounds 49 for a half meter. So with this is a five and a half meter bundle, you're paying for five meters and the half meter that is free is obviously making it up to the five and a half meters of fabric. So it's a really lovely product these and they sold really, really well yesterday, even without the pictures. So this one, all the pictures are back up on the website now. So have a little look and see and you've got everything ready for you there. So today I have got the most fabulous quilt pattern, which is really, really simple. I think we're going to look at the finished quilts first. I'm going to start with this one. And the great thing about this is, is anybody who's used a layer cake before or has done a quilt before with a layer cake, you're always sitting there and you're trying to position the fabrics and, oh, there's too much yellow in that section and too much blue in that section. But with this quilt, it really doesn't matter. And anybody who's a little bit nervous about picking colors, layer cakes are a really good way of doing it because somebody's done the hard work for you that you don't need to worry about whether the colors go together because the whole fabric line goes together because it's been designed that way. And you can see they just blend so beautifully together. This range is called Harmony. Um, it's called Harmony. I was just seeing if there was a lady, the lady's names. Nope, they're not on there. But it's a Moda layer cake, this. And it's just a really lovely, lovely way of making this pattern pop um, using this. Now, one thing you will see as well, we'll come back to that. We've got different um, fabrics that you can use with it as a coordinating fabric. And I'll show you that in a little while then, how that would work for each one. This one is the absolutely amazing Janet Clare. This one is called Ebb and Flow, this layer cake, and it is just, I adore Janet Clare's work. She is so talented, and the great thing is, season by season, she keeps very similar um, designs, but keeps some, the colors the same, but the designs change ever so slightly. So if you've got them from sort of three, four years ago, the fabrics now would easily go very well with what she was doing a few years ago. Because I like that form of consistency. It's a bit like the Alison Glass as well, that you've got that wonderful palette that stays with them for each and every design. And again, here I, d I literally just put them in a bag, pulled out block by block by block and put them next to each other. And it really does work. Because some of them you do spend hours laying down because you don't want that fabric touching that fabric and you don't want that there and you want this to be all nice and neat. But I think this has just worked really, really well. And again, we'll chat about the coordinating fabrics in a little while for this. Now this one is definitely the brightest of the bright. And I think this one, is called The Front Porch by Sherry and Chelsea, I think it is. And look how fun this is. So this one's slightly smaller than the other two, simply because I'm gonna do this as my demo, so I'm gonna show you how to put that on. But look how fresh that is. 
it's just so fun and fresh and vibrant and you know for a baby quilt or for just for having it in your sofa and your living room it's just a beautiful color combination and it's just so zingy it's just that's the only word i can think of for it it just works so so well so those are the three colorways that we've got for this quilt design today the bundles the pattern is the same for each one so on this you'll see if i can put these all three together and show a bit of all three what i've done is we've also got coordinating meters of fabric which I love because these are actually what I stock in my shop and they are really good quality. So these, it's nice to get a good standard uh, coordinate to get something simple that you've got the combination. So we've got here the different um, colors. The bottom one is the white. Then we've got ivory. Then we've got light gray here and we've got school gray, which is the darker gray. And I was, we, we always struggle to find the right colors to go with the right one. So what I did is I, I chose the school gray to go with this product. I can't remember the name of this, sorry. I must remember these. What's the, this is the Harmony, sorry about that. So the Harmony, I chose the, the dark school gray to go with the Harmony, but I have little pieces of them cut here. But equally, you know, some people may not like that darkness on that. So I'm just going to slide these over. So you might not like the dark gray on that. So what I've done is I've cut some little sections of light gray. So you can see, perhaps I prefer to do the light gray. So these meter pieces, if I'm not mistaken, are 698 a meter. Um, and at that price, you know, you can easily go and buy a meter of that um, and then just try it out. Because the main thing in this is this, in, in these quilts, is you've got these wonderful little twirls in each one. So you might be able to change them and, you know, some of them you would have, um, I'm not sure how difficult or complex it would be to redo it, but perhaps you can have a light grey and a dark grey next to each other. So you see that one's a dark grey, perhaps you want this one to be a light grey. I'm not quite sure how it would work in the pattern, but you know, give it a go. Part of these things are different ways. And then obviously you've got the white ones, if you wanted to do white as well. Sorry, I'm just showing the last little bit there. So you've got, the great thing is I've got these little strips that we can do that for each and every one and show you what it would look like with each one. So those are our three samples. So the first one we have is our harmony. So that one is this quilt here. So you can see these wonderful layer cakes. They're just so beautifully done. And if I, if I flip the fabrics this way, you can see it. But equally, I'll just hold the um, quilt up in a little while and you can see all the different fabrics that go together. So that's the quilt pattern that you're getting with it. And this whole bundle makes a quilt that is, uh, there we go, 48 by 56. Now that is not including a border. So if it was me, I haven't included a border on mine either. But what I think if I would definitely be doing is being getting perhaps another meter of this coordinating gray and putting a six inch or eight inch border all the way around. And then just shows some beautiful quilting on your border in perhaps a blue or a yellow or a lighter gray, which would just make everything pop really beautifully. Because you can see this blue here is really pretty as well. And that would show really well with the quilting on the dark gray. So perhaps that's a way of, if you were looking for a slightly larger quilt, um, then this is 48 inches by 56. So you can see all the, um, the different fabrics. I'm trying to just move this over a little bit so you can see the different colorways. So you've got a nice little light gray and you've got these dark gray hearts. And they're 42 different pieces of fabric. And I don't think there were that many repeats actually, which is great. This one was my really fun one because it's got all the um, alphabet uh, letters on. So you can go through and I think it had little bits of words as well. And again, you've got all these lovely little flowers, more hearts in a different colorway. And lovely fun dots, which I loved, which you surrounded by a darker dot, which just gave it that little bit more pop. And these yellows, you can see it's got this very intricate circular design all the way through. 
and you've got these all in different colorways as well. And again, you've now got that in the inverse where you've got the yellow background and the dot on the inside. I keep finding all the dots today. So this is the harmony, and again, you get the pattern and the layer cake with that, and that's your first bundle that we've got here today. Can, if I leave that there, will it stand? No, it won't. So we'll leave that one there. So that's the first one. I think we're going to do ebb and flow now, if that's all right, because then we can go onto the front porch and I can start my demo. So this is the lovely Janet Clare fabric. Again, you're getting a full layer cake and you're getting the wonderful pattern that goes with it. And Janet Clare's fabrics, they've, oh, they, this is one of the, definitely one of the first layer cakes I bought uh, was one of the uh, Janet Clare's. I think it was a jelly roll actually, but it's just such lovely different designs and some of them are quite nautical, but it just feels very, very lovely and contemporary. And here she's got some of the plainer colours with just these rich greens in there. It's just lovely. And then following those designs all the way through, through the different colourways. And you can see that in the blue, she's got this lovely, um, it's almost like a grungy blue, but it's a, just, it's a, it feels much nicer and it looks lovely. And these beautiful whales, you've got the whales in two, two or three different colourways, if I'm not mistaken. There we go, you've got another whale there. And they're just so simply done and elegantly designed. And again, that one then will make the quilt being 48 by 56 inches. And it's a really interesting way of putting the quilt together with these different designs. And on the top here, can we just pop onto the overhead so I can show the different ideas with the contrasting colours? Because at the moment I've used the light grey and for example I did initially think perhaps the dark grey would be better but you can see you may have lost some of the definition of your fabric on it. But I do think this is down to personal choice because perhaps you want to use the white which gives you a much more of a contrast. But you will need to add the meter of contrast, whichever one you choose, or you can use your stash, it's entirely up to you. But it's 6 698 for a meter of fabric for this. I, it's just a, for me, it's a no brainer. So that's just a nice way. I, th I thought it was a good idea to put this, these down so people can just get a rough idea of different colorways. And then we're going to have a look at the front porch. Excuse me while I fold this up. I'm not very good at folding up as I demo, so I'm trying to keep on top of them as I go. And then this is just the brightest of the bunch. It's just so fun. Oh. So I've only got 36 of the squares in here because I'm going to demo the remaining squares for you now. And that is this amazing layer cake here. So again, you'll get the layer cake and you'll get the pattern. It's a 48 by 56 inch lap quilt. And then the different colors are with like most, you can see you start with these really dark, beautiful navies, lovely sort of a tealy turquoisey blue, a rich dark orangey red, and then a paley orangey red, going into a green. And the great thing is, is then with all of these layer cakes, they coordinate so beautifully together, they, then incorporate all the pale um, oranges and the reds and going in together. I'm not sure if it is an orange or a red, but either way, it just blends all so beautifully all the way through. And there we have it. That's our three layer cakes and our three bundles on them. So just a quick recap of the background fabrics that you're going to need. There are four that we've got on the website at the moment. So we've got the the whitest of the white, obviously, being the normal white. And this is a metre of fabric, usual width being 43, 43. So this is folded in half. So you can see, is that salvage to salvage? No, it's not. Never going to get this folded back up again. But that is your metre of fabric that you're going to be getting. So you can see the sizing that we're doing on them. I'm not 
kind of open them all out. You get the idea because they're all the same size. Um, but we can then just show you the different colours and how they fold these. They must hate getting stuff back from me at the warehouse because that looks nothing like that. So I apologise to the warehouse. There we go. <laughs> so the ivory is ever so slightly different. You can see it's a little bit more creamy. So you can see it's a little bit more creamy. The white is at the bottom and the ivory is on the top. So you can see it's just that slight hint off it. This is now on your screen at the moment, um, being the ivory cotton bundle. So it's, it's just that slightly little bit of off-white, because sometimes having the, the stark white doesn't actually really work with your project. You sometimes have too much contrast then, and just having a slightly off-white makes it a little bit softer. Um, I've used the ivory on this quilt, so I think the ivory just works it so beautifully. And then we've got the light grey, which is what I've used on the Janet Clare Ebb and Flow. So the reason we're showing you these meters of background is for this pattern, you'll be able to see actually very clearly in this one, you'll see that you've got the background colorful colors, but then you've got these little white strips. That's for your, what you'll need for your quilt, that you're gonna need a meter of um, background fabric together with your layer cake. And that is what they kind of, they let you choose whichever one you want. So perhaps you've got a, a very pink one that you wanted to do a pink border on it. That's absolutely fine. You must just, you get to choose what you want. And then this is the last color that I used on the, was it the Harmony? I keep forgetting the name of these bundles. Yes, on the Harmony, I used the School Grey, which was a bit darker, just to make, make it a bit, I felt it just worked a bit better. And the School, I just think the, the School Grey was just a really lovely, it's what I use for my foundation paper piece in grey as well. It's just a lovely deep grey. And I thought that was quite, quite now. And of course I've got threads all over it. I've only been here three minutes and I've covered all, everything in threads already. So what are we going to do now? Should we do the demo? So what you'll see is on these, I'm just going to show you this for the last time. And as I did that, all my pieces flew on the floor. So this is, you can see this is seven by six. So that's one block there, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So that's seven blocks across by six down. So that is the finished size of what your quilt will look like. Um, and that's what I've done in the light gray with the Janet Clare. Um, but what you'll see, I'm gonna just pop that over here. And then this one's the same size, also the seven by six, just to give you a rough idea. So this is folded in half, so you can see it's a good size. And it's a lovely one to put on the back of the sofa. It's just nice as well to just, in, you know, in the bedrooms, just keeping it fresh and keeping it covered and all over the places. And this one is six by six because I wanted to show you how to put the rows on together as well, because that was a little bit more technical than I expected. But you just need to take your time, very, very easily done. Now to make this quilt, you're going to use the wonderful, wonderful rulers by Stripology. Yay! I love my Creator Grid rulers. Um, and somewhere here I have all the pieces cut out. Let me just count these out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Woohoo! I didn't lose anything. So you've now, what I've done is I've tried to keep, um, I've tried to keep a combination of colors because it doesn't really matter which way around you have these. Um, but what I've tried to do for my demo was to try and keep as many dark light together that that way then when I make another row, it doesn't look too funny having say all the, all the dark blues in the bottom of it. So I'm just gonna cut three of these at a time um, you must cut as many as you like, and what you're going to do is you're going to cut them corner to corner. And this is also a Creative Grids ruler. I've used this many times before. Check out the website if there's anything I'm using that you're interested in. We've got a wonderful collection of, of fabrics and tools that we've had on the show. So do check that out. Just go onto sewingstreet.com um, and if you go past the little YouTube screen at the bottom, you'll see all the products that we have 
and you can then have a little look at all the lots of lovely things that we've got. So again, we're now cutting these across there. So don't worry about watching this too closely. The pattern is very, very clear as to what you're doing. And I'm not going to give you all the details because unfortunately for pattern copyright, I don't want to get into trouble with anybody. Um, so once we've done that, and I put that under there, we're going to turn our little iron on. And we've all used our little prim iron before, and this has now been filled with water, so I'm going to have some steam on it in a few minutes. Um, tripping over wires. Right. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put these, they're going to be identical, so I'm going to put them on top of each other in exactly the same way. I'm going to turn one upside down and leave that one the right way up. So I know that I'm going to put these little bits of fabric onto this side. And again, this is all on the website, uh, all on the pattern, and you can double check that. I've just realized I haven't tested my seam allowance. So bear with me for two seconds while I test that. Oh. And if anybody is looking for a new machine, Debbie did the most wonderful demos on these machines. This is the 570 Experience. Uh, lovely little machine, so have a little look on that. Debbie did a wonderful tutorial on it. And you get a wonderful collection of free goodies with it. Who doesn't love a free goodie with their sewing machines? So my tip with this as well, make sure that you're consistent with your quarter inch seam. So try and stay on the same machine if possible for your, when you're making them, because that way then you can not end up having any discrepancies with regards to your quarter inch and all that. Oh. I'm going to slow this little one down a bit. Right, oh, so we're going to pull these apart, um, and at this point you are going to give everything a little press. We've got the wonderful um, June Taylor mat, sorry I was distracted there trying to make sure I didn't burn anyone or anything. And we've got the lovely prim iron, which is perfect for little jobs like this. Press that nicely, and you press this one equally. I always set my seams first because I prefer to use a bit of polyester on my thread, um, and that just causes the polyester to go and sucks up, and it makes your seams a little bit neater. I might be completely wrong in that, but that's my delusion, and that's how I like it. Right, so now that I've done that, I'm going to take two of the other fabrics that I haven't used that I think are going to coordinate really well with this. So I'm going to put the dark blue there, and I'm going to put this one on there. So now all you're doing is you're lining these up. And again, the pattern will tell you how to do all of this. I don't want to give all the game away before I get into trouble with the pattern writer. And you do need to make two of these because we're going to do a little bit of adjustment to it to make a block.
And if you are looking for a new machine, this is such a lovely little machine. Make sure you check out Debbie's um, tutorial. Or if you're not looking for a new machine, just watch it anyway, because it's very good to see all the new products and what they're doing and all the freebies you get with it. So now we've done that, we're going to press our seams again. We're going to press our seams again. And you're going to press that nice and open. And I have to say that this fabric, this pattern is very forgiving. So it is very much a beginner fab, a beginner pattern because if your seams aren't quite right, it doesn't matter because you're going to cut them off. And if it doesn't quite line up, it doesn't matter because no one's going to see it because the level of detail for you to get to. Yes, obviously you can now line this up and you can check that your ruler is exactly right. But if you aren't confident and you don't want to do that, it's still going to work absolutely perfectly. You don't have to worry. Because on my seams, I can assure you, there were a lot that didn't match up. And I'm hoping none of you noticed. <laughs> and if you did, thank you for not saying anything. That's very kind. So now we're going to do the next step, which is again cutting corner to corner. And you do feel like you're literally just cutting everything up and sewing it back together, cutting everything up, sewing it back together, cutting it all up and sewing it back together. That's just patchwork, isn't it? So you're going to do this again. All right. So now you're going to set these up. So this is a little trick that's in the pattern. Um, and I'm not going to show you this little bit because it's in the pattern. You'll be able to see that. And then you sew these two together. Now, if you were a pin user, now is the time you would probably want to use a pin. I, of course, am a complete rebel, and none of my points ever match, so I'm not as worried about it. And at the end there, I definitely went a little bit wonky and it doesn't matter because you're about to trim it down and you won't even notice it. Because I, I got to the point where I was unpicking and I didn't know, I was about to cry at one point. And then I just thought, you know what, doesn't matter because I'm unpicking it, I'm, I'm cutting that bit off. But I only realised that after I'd done about 10 of them and I'd unpicked about four of them. So we're now folding that back and you can see I've just missed my point and I don't mind because it just makes the creativity of it. Oh, that's very kind. I don't think Joe's, Joe's saying he can't tell, but there is a little point there that's missed. And if you want to unpick that, you go right ahead. I think my life is too short and I'm very happy with my little point. And now we get to use the fabulous Stropology ruler, which is very exciting. But you are going to need to make sure that you've got your glasses on and you need to make sure that you're paying attention on this because I've cut it twice the wrong way because I'm not paying attention. Um, and also, some of you followed me on Instagram, it was probably about three o'clock in the morning when I was doing this. So, what you are looking at now, I'm going to show this to you up here and you'll see that there is a white line going there and there is a white line going here. I think as my finger's running across it, you can just see that on there. So it's a white line running there. And there's a white line running there. You want the white line, okay? Remember this, you want the white line because it's right next to the black line. Ask me why I'm telling you this. <laughs> Ask me why some of my points don't match. But it really isn't that big of a deal because you're only about an eighth of an inch difference between the white and the black. But the white line is what you're looking for. And then when you've got your white line, you're going to line your white lines up. When you go into the overhead now, you can see there's my white line. You can see there's my white line. And you can see there's my white line. You're going to line your white line up you're going to pretend that this is a perfectly 
um, seamed piece. So you can see my white line runs along that seam and my white line runs along that seam. If you are out, like some people in this universe, if you are out, just pick the same way and do the same way all along. So what I did is I lined my center sections out and if I was slightly out there, that was fine. I didn't mention that at all. I just then made sure I was consistent and lined the centers up. That may not be the way you want to do it because I think it's important that we tell you that if you've made a little bit of an adjustment with your sewing, <laughs> my sewing not being very good, we just it's important to know where you are. So then again, the pattern will tell you what size you need to cut this. Um, and then all you're going to do is you're going to pop your lovely ro your rotary cutter into this ruler, making sure that everything's all lined up. Hold it down. Don't put too much pressure and you trim the right hand side and then we come back and we find the measurement now for the left hand side and you trim the left hand side now this is the key portion if you have a rotary mat fine but just when you pick this up don't move the fabric get rid of the little bits you don't need because that just makes your life a little bit clearer and you've had the rotary, you had your ruler like that, all you're going to do is rotate it 90 degrees. It can be either way, it doesn't matter whether you do it left or right. All you're going to do now, exactly like you did before, you're going to line up that center point on the white line. Remember, the white line. And I'm trying to save you from making my errors. And the, I'm actually quite pleased with this. This was actually probably one of the most accurate ones I've done. You can see the white line follows virtually exactly on the seam all the way. And this is now where you're going to do something and you're going to be very careful and cautious with your rotary cutter. And you're going to cut this on the line that the pattern tells you to cut it on. And you're going to cut that across there. And then over here, you're going to hold everything nice and securely and make sure you don't hurt yourself. And you're going to cut into that little groove and you cut all the way along and again you just take that and put it underneath here and I have to say that is a really lovely ruler and it just shows you it's just a simple way of just four simple lines and you've got your block and it's just so simple and you're gonna make 42 of those and I know that's like how many but you've got 42 squares and this is what you'll have left over from each block so these bits, I know we've, um, we've got, I told you earlier that I keep these for my friend Irene. Little bits like this, we make sure that they go to charity, so there is nothing wasted here, I promise you. We've got a little bundle under here waiting to go. So it's these things, then this is what you've got left over. So yes, people can make crumb quilts out of these. I, I've seen people make whole quilts out of things, like just this amount of things. So it's a really, nothing gets wasted, you don't have to worry with that. And now you make 42 of those. But when you put just, um, sorry, we had a message in, but I'm just gonna finish this very quickly. When you put this together, it's very important that you follow the pattern on how you put this together and lay it out because I didn't lay it out and I ended up sewing three rows together thinking it was right. So make sure it'll show you how you sew these blocks together as you go along. So some of the rows will start with a big end, some of the rows will start with a smaller end. It's very important because if you don't get that bit right, you're not going to get these twirls. And you can see you've got these little pinwheels in the middle because the first row I did, I had my big bits there and I had my small bits there and I just couldn't figure out why my pattern wasn't happening. So just make sure you pay attention on your first your first and second rows are different. That's what creates those lovely little twirls. So it's a really fun quilt to make. You've just got to take your time. And it's one of those ones that it's not just easy sewing because most of it is, you've actually got to sit down and really think about the but when you're putting it all together. And it is such fun and so rewarding to do at the end. So those are my, my little demo and kits on that. And if we've got time, I can make another couple of blocks and we can go from there. We've had a message in, yes. Message in from Instagram. From? Kerry from Kerry Shepherd. Hello, Kerry. Says, is this quilt for She's asking if this quilt is for beginners. Kerry, I would say to you, yes, it is, but you've just got to take your time. The reason I say that is that all these edges, once you've cut them, are on the bias. So 
I'm not going to pull it too hard, but you can see they're very stretchy. So it's absolutely fine because all the edges you're going to sew together are all on the bias. It just, if you're a beginner and you haven't done it before, just go slowly. Don't just rush them all through the machine because they'll distort ever so slightly. And if they do, that's fine too. It's only fabric. You're going to be, this is for fun. But I, as a beginner, I would say just take your time, read the pattern, watch back how I did that. And you're just going to do exactly the same thing 42 times and then just rotate them when you put them all back together. You can do this. I've got utter faith in you. So now we've got the little 570 sewing machine here, which Debbie demoed earlier this week. And I am loving this because it's actually very similar to my own machine. And what you're getting with this is not only are you getting your standard machine that you get normally, you're also getting this wonderful walking foot, which thankfully Debbie's left on for me because I hate putting a walking foot on. So you've got the walking foot, which comes as a standard setting on this machine. Because we've got a big bundle, which is free, you've got the free motion. Is it a free motion foot or a darning foot? I think it's a darning foot on that. And you get your standard combination of bits and bobs. And you're getting two meters of fabric, which is worth over 81 pounds. All that for the price of 569 pounds. Can't go wrong with that. And it is a lovely little machine. And as I was watching Debbie when she was doing it, I'm gonna rotate these. You've got all the, all the different stitches that you're looking for are over here. And it's great because it tells you number one, is stitches 1 to 49 and then 50 to 99 and then you've got number two which if I'm not mistaken is when you're adjusting no it's not in mode that's it the buttons are there so now we're in mode two no we're in mode one this is mode two so this is the stitches that would be available in mode two and you can just see the little light over here has changed I'll do that again so that's mode one and just see the little light shining there and then number two and then number a which is for the first um, uh, first alphabet and I think that one is for the second alphabet I love this machine for the different products oh here's one I found earlier we've got the wonderful instruction booklet which is always key for every product and you've got the different ways and the different stitches and everything in here but I don't know about you, but I can never find my in instruction book. It's somewhere. I've got a lovely little file somewhere in my house with everything nicely tucked away. And of course, when I'm looking to figure out what the code is for a capital F, um, I can't find my book. So you just pull these out and they're all on here. And all you can figure it out as you go along. I'm just turning this iron off because I could feel quite a bit of heat on my elbow there. For me, I love this because there's nothing that you can't do on this machine. You've got all your straight stitching, you've got your walking foot if you want to do patchwork, if you want to do stitch in the ditch, you've got your free motion foot and darning foot if you want to do free motion quilting. We had Alison Holt on the other day, we got her amazing book on as well, telling you how to do free motion embroidery and if you aren't comfortable enough doing that without, the, without any foot at all, you would use this foot as well. It's just a really lovely compact machine because some people, you know, we've got these amazing 720s and all these really lovely machines, but not everybody can afford those. And what I like about this is you had a really good guarantee with it. Elna and Janome have great um, customer service with regards to anything, anything goes wrong and they don't go wrong. It's just if you need it, they're there. Um, and this is a really good quality machine, which has got the locking stitches, your needle up and down. For me, this is the key feature that the needle up and down is because especially when you're putting binding on a quilt yes I put the binding on Sylvia does everything else but when you put the binding on and then you want to rotate the fabric or you just want to put it on and then walk away for a little bit it just gives that fabric a little bit of an extra hold you've got your needle cutter and if I'm not mistaken we've got a cutting uh, an extension table with this as well so for me the extension table on its own is worth its weight in gold because you've got that little extra bit of space on it as well I don't think I had enough space on my table to put this the table on but Joe is being an absolute trooper oh Joe actually can you hand me that because that's another reason I love this machine bear with skeleton staff we've got to do our social distancing so if you can pop that on the table just pop those on the table, I'll show you really from there. Because for me, thank you very much. For me, I love a 
hard case because when I'm traveling with this in my car, forgive me, I'm now going to unplug this and then lose the thing. When I'm traveling in my car, the number of times you've had to break for something, you've got this, where's my handle? Um, you've got this product and it's all, if there is a bump on it, you're safe with a hard case. So that's important because most of us do travel with our machines. They're not, this is a machine that you can easily travel with because it's not that heavy. It's a reasonably heavy machine. Don't think you're going to pick it up and it's going to weigh nothing. But it's not as heavy as something that you would buy and leave on your, leave on your counter. It's very portable. And we've got it as a limited product as well from Alna. And oh, they just, I really can't rave about this enough. And it's almost, my machine at home is almost as good as this. It's not as good as this because I bought a cheaper machine. Mine was about 400 pounds because that's what I could afford at the time. And it's a lovely, lovely product. I really, I can't. I, and also don't forget if you don't buy it soon until the stocks run out, you're not going to get the fabric you're not going to get the walking foot and you're not going to get the darning foot. And I'm, I can't remember how much I paid for my walking foot on its own, but I, it, I think it was in the region of about 49 pounds. So I think that uh, the walking foot alone was about 49, 59 pounds for my machine because it didn't come with it and I had to get it on its own. But for me, this case is really, really important because most people don't talk about the case because you're not, you know, most people don't think about traveling with it. For me, I want to make sure I've got this because you've got those lovely um, plastic ones that you get which are lightweight and that's great. If you're leaving it on the side, it doesn't get dusty, fine. But when I'm traveling in my car, I want to make sure that it's protected. So that is my little review on this. I am not an expert on the sewing machines. Debbie did a fantastic demo on it, which I won't deny, I did watch to make sure I knew all about it. But isn't Debbie fabulous? I'm so pleased we've got her books in the second hour. A Little bit of a geeky there. But yeah, check this out, have a look at that. And I'm gonna just now recap what we've got on the show today. But I'm gonna move the iron because I'm worried I'm gonna burn myself. So, shall we start recap the early bird? Because I actually can't believe that I haven't got these in my own home because we're actually looking at hanging some fabulous quilts of mine, assuming I can call them fabulous. So I'm gonna just recap how these work. So this is the quilt top that I made this morning, literally. And, oh, come on. There we go. So if we can zoom in, can we zoom in? I don't know how much we can zoom in on camera two. Or do you want to do the overhead? Well, that's quite close. So you can see now in there, there's nothing. So if I rotate this around, can you see the little marble? So when you're tipping this around, I'm going to do this now and tip it upside down. So when I'm tapping it like this, I'm trying to release the marble. So the marble disappears in its little hole. So when I want to put my quilt on it, I'm now putting it in there and tipping it so that the little marble comes out of its hole. And there we go, it is. And you can see that's how it does. And it holds a, 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 a fair amount of weight because you've got the two of them and you're getting four of them in the product. I'm saying two because obviously that's what I'm using for this. Oh, are we limited stock already? Oh good, these people know a good deal. And you can see now that's not even, I'm not applying any pressure on it. That's a reasonably good size lap quilt, and that, that's holding it very, very comfortably. Not a problem there at all. So you can imagine if you're gonna be using, and then to undo it, you're literally just pushing the fabric back, and it's coming out. So I'll show you on this one again. So when you wanna undo it, you're just putting your fingers there, pushing it forward, waiting for the marble to undo. That's, and you can see no damage whatsoever on that, because you've just got a tiny little marble. And other than standing on it, a marble's never done any harm, or swallowing it, a marble's never done any harm. So now we've got, do you want to do the, how long have I got? Ten minutes. Ten minutes. Just quickly do the Liberty fabric, because this didn't have the picture on yesterday. So we've got the Liberty fabric back on the website now with its picture. It sold really well yesterday, but we just wanted to double check because the website didn't have the picture, I'll just re-show this to you again. This is 74.90 for 5.5 meters, uh, 5 .5 meters of fabric, but obviously the 750 is what, 749 is what you would pay for a half meter. So you are getting one 
half meter free and paying for five meters. So you're getting 5.5 meters in total, um, but you're paying for 10 meters. So I'll pop that there, that's fine, you can just see them there. And you can see they're just a really lovely collection of fabrics. Make sure you check those out on yesterday's show. I think it was the nine o'clock show that we did that on. So really good product on that. We've done the 720. Um, let's start with, can I, do you mind if I do this backwards? And we start with front porch. So this is the front porch quilt. You're going to get the layer cake and you're gonna get the pattern. Really good pattern, really well written, lots of pictures. I understood it, so everybody will understand it, in my opinion. So that's the first product there, and this is the quilt that you're gonna make. So I'm gonna show you the fabric slightly differently this time, because now you'll be able to see them outside of the layer cake, and you'll be able to see them and how they pop and the different colors and how they go. It's just a different way of doing it. And you can see the different colors. And I know there's a slightly longer than usual delay on getting your zooms here. Poor Joe's running from, from room to room to get you all your zoomed pictures and that. And you can see there's a wonderful point where Joe is zoomed in there where none of my points have matched. And I don't care because it's just such fun. But it's just a lovely colorway to show you. And it's just, I think the layer cake is a nice way of showing it, but having them out like this, especially when the layer cake's cut up like this, you can see I just randomly picked pieces up and put them together and it just works really, really well. We've also got these meters of fabric that you would buy to be in order to make this quilt. I've used the um, ivory on this one. We've got the white. We've got the ivory, we've got the light gray, and we've got the school gray. Um, so check the website for those meter pieces. They're $6.98 each, I think. $6.98 each a meter. So have a little look on the website for that and see if that's something that you would be interested in getting. But you will need some coordinating fabric in order to make this quilt. The next one we're going to look at is the Harmony. So this is the layer cake you're going to get. And the pattern again, the Amelie pattern. And you're going to get the layer cake and the Amelie pattern. And I'm going to show you the quilt as to how it will come out. Um, and that, that way you'll be able to see the different ways, the different types of colors and the different types of fabric you're going to get. And I'll just move that up and, sorry, I haven't held that very well. My arms aren't that long. So you can just see the different colors and the different textures and the different fabrics you're going to get in the layer cake. They work really, really, really well. And again, I have not layered these in any particular fashion. Literally, what block came out got sewed to the next block next to it. And the great thing with that is, because it's a layer cake, it doesn't really matter, because you're going to have all the fabrics are going to go really well together, because that's the way they've designed them. And then lastly, we've got the Ebb and Flow by Janet Clare. And I've just realized I've hidden this bundle over here. So I'm gonna put that back over here. Oh, apparently the front porch is the most popular bundle, which is this bright, vibrant color. I'm not surprised because it is really, really fun. My personal favorite, I won't lie, is the Ebb and Flow because I just love Janet Clare. And her fabrics, I just, oh, I love it. But I think it's a bit more of a it's a bit more of an acquired taste on it. So this is the fa this is the bundle you're going to get, and this is the pattern. This is what you'll get, and what I'm going to show you now is the actual fabrics from that layer cake, cut up into little tiny pieces, and you'll just be able to then see the different colours, and the different styles of the cut of the prints. It's a little bit more nautical. When I showed it to Andrew, he's like, oh, that's a bit more of a boy quilt. I hate that type of generalization, but perhaps it is. Don't judge me for all my threads everywhere. Sorry. We quilters know there are threads on everything, including ourselves. And the great thing with this is, shall I just show you the different ways of the coordinating fabrics and how that worked again? Some of you may not have seen that. Of course, now I have to find my little pieces that are cut up and blown across the floor. I'm still here, bear with, bear with, bear with. 
So what I've got in here at the moment, which is what I use to, to um, stitch it, is the, it, this is called the, the light grey. So this is the light grey fabric, but let's say you didn't like the light grey and you wanted to use the ivory. It just gives you an idea of how it would change your little crosses. Um, because you can see it completely changes the look of the fabric. So perhaps you like the Janet Clare, but you don't like the grey, and maybe the grey is what's throwing you off, because these colours are really lovely, and these fabrics are really good. Perhaps you'd prefer it with that. Perhaps you'd prefer it with a cream, or with a brown. Maybe that would work better for you. Or a navy, yes. Sorry, I've got Tom mentioning in my ear. And you can see then I'm using the school grey here, which is a lot darker. And I initially thought, oh, I'm going to do it with a school grey, and, and Haley saved me from myself. But this is a lovely colourway. I think it would still work beautifully. But you'd need, um, I think you need 75 centimetres of the fabric uh, for the project. I can't remember exactly. Sorry, it might be a metre. Sorry, I can't remember exactly how much fabric you need. But definitely a metre is more than enough for it. So that is the ebb and flow. Um, shall I show you this one in a lighter colour as well? Just that way you can see all the differences as well. So this one, the coordinating fabric I've used, is the school grey. So perhaps you'd prefer the light grey. Because you can see just that tiny change there has completely changed the way that little twirl goes. I'll take it away just so that you can see it. So that's what it was originally. And this is now the light grey. And we've got the harmony. Um, it's called the harmony, isn't it? Sweet water, sorry. But then again, you might prefer the white. Because the white really freshens that up as well. Oh, I wonder what a yellow would look like as well. But the great thing about this is that you can try it and you can see what would work. And it is a really fun quilt to do. It just takes a bit of time to make sure you get your, your lines going the right way when you are doing the piecing together. So I think I've shown you everything you need to do on that. So we've got for our second hour, which I'm incredibly excited about. We've got some phenomenal fabrics. We haven't, is this the first time we're showing the, the multicolored ones? Yeah. Oh, we've got an exclusive, first time ever, fabric for making bags coming up in the next hour. And we've got all of Debbie Shaw's books. <laughs> and we've got the Tilda book as well, which I'm very excited about. So don't go far, we won't be long. Uh, we're going to have a little bit shorter hour this hour, simply because we've got so much in the second hour. Um, and I think I've shown anything else. If you have got any questions about the first hour, drop us a line in the second hour and I can answer you in a heartbeat because everything will just be beneath the counter. We're going to change set now. So there will be a graphic coming up. There won't be any sound. So just bear with us for a minute or two. Thank you so much for watching this hour and thank you for your time. Thank you.
Welcome back. I'm John Cole Morgan and this is Sewing Street. If you've got anything you'd like to see on the show, anything you've seen on the show that you'd like to buy, you can get it on our website, www.sewingstreet.com. You can call our UK-based call center of 0800 001 4433. And I'm sorry, you know that I like to stroke my lovely fabrics. This is coming up at half past and I'm just going to give you a little bit of a show. It's so cute and I love it. I'm going to put that there. Just so it's going to watch closely over us. Don't forget we've got our early bird special of these amazing quilt um, hangers. We're doing really well on those today, so please, if you are interested, it's not yours until you've actually checked out. We've got the one day P&P, £3.95 for a flat rate. So if you bought something in the first hour and you wanna buy something in the second hour, make sure that you check. You can only pay the one P&P and that's whether you do it on the internet or call the call center. But right now we have got these amazing, and I am so excited, cotton canvas fabrics. Look at these colors. Oh, I am so excited. Just look at these colors. They are just so, so lovely. We've got the lovely black. I'm not even gonna to begin to try and name these colorways, but they are just so fun. All available by the half meter. And of course, for bag making, how could we ask for anybody more than the amazing Debbie Shaw? We've got all of her books available here. I'm gonna drag the backpacks book in as well. So these are coming up in a little bit later in the show. Um, but yeah, look at these. So, shall, what's, what, shall I start at the top? Yeah. What color is this one called? Is this coral? but it's, it just feels so good. It almost feels like a quilting cotton, but a little bit thicker. But look at that, it's even wider than a quilting cotton as well. Do we know how wide these are? Is this 55? It feels wider than a normal quilting fabric. 55 inches wide, coral canvas cotton, half meter for 3.99. Now, come on, that's the same price as your postage. It's just wonderful. The colors are so vibrant. And I am, oh, I'm definitely getting some of this. I've never made bags before. Uh, hang on, how am I folding these? Because I always get stuck with the folding. There we go. Looks nothing like the first time. <laughs> so here, is this the neutral? I think this is our neutral one. Cream, cream. And I think, well, this is 55 inches as well. Gosh, it's really long. Half a meter as well. All of these are half meter, and it's this $3.99 as well. Can't go wrong with that. Because I'm looking at this and for bags, I'm thinking, gosh, you need to have one for the lining. I'd be using this for the lining because every bag that I've ever had, I've never been able to find anything in it. I don't know how you ladies have used bags so successfully for so, many, so long. As a boy, I use it and I'm like, I cannot find anything. And so I need it as light a lining as possible. So I'd be using that as my lining. But all these amazing colors on the outside. I definitely would not get a job folding fabric here. And this, oh, look at this. This I think we've called teal. Just gorgeous. So the difference between this and a quilting cotton is this is a slightly heavier weight, which makes it a little bit stronger, a little bit more durable, and it's made slightly differently because the weave is slightly different. Um, but it just, it doesn't feel, because you know some canvases that you get, they feel a little scratchy. This one doesn't feel like that at all. And that's why I was confused whether it was a quilting cotton, because it's got that lovely soft texture of a quilting cotton as well. Gosh, this looks nothing like I had it. So is this going to be a li light blue? Sky blue. One day I'll get my talk back ready. But it's nice because it's a really wide fabric as well because you, we all want a little bit extra in these days. Because for the quilting cottons, I think they're 43 inches or 44 inches. So it's nice to have that little bit extra in this. And it's just a really lovely color combination. I feel like I should have shown you the color combination more before, before I destroyed them by taking them all apart. So the next one is red, is it? Red. Oh, it's a lovely red too. Makes me think of toffee apples. Ooh. 
So the great thing with this is you can make cushions out of this, any form of housewares. I, I love making doorstops because I live in a grade two listed building and there's drafts everywhere. So every time I close the door, I've got to put a doorstop down. So a, a nice color of this, something of this color, for example, every time you close the door, you're going to remember to put the doorstop on because you're going to not miss the doorstop because it's standing out at you with this beautiful color. So that's the red. Oh, that's a lovely, is this olive or is this green? Okra, Okra. that is lovely colour. It's almost like an olive green as well, it's really pretty. How do you suggest make giraffes with these? Make what? Giraffes. Oh, we've had a suggestion from Hannah that you could make giraffes out of these. What a clever idea. <laughs> Oh, I like that because, oh, ooh, I like making sort of modern things like that. I would have this and then be put my dots in this colour. That would work really well. So in these difficult times at the moment, we've got a team all over the place. So Hannah's at home talking to Joe in the control room, which is about three metres away from me. And he's locked up in there. Well, we normally lock him up in there anyway, but... So this is the charcoal, and it's, it's beautifully, oh, it's just such a lovely colour. So this would work out at 7.98 a metre. If you were buying two pieces of this, you would then be able to get that. It says, say you bought two units, that would come to you as a metre piece, and that would be 7.98. So I don't know how bag making or homewares making goes, but if you needed a metre, you just order two pieces of the fabric and that would come to you as a single piece if that made any sense whatever two units and it would come to you as a single piece of a meter oh look at this pink i love a color is this fuchsia oh i like this almost as much as i like those sorry i'm still distracted by the apple butters coming up at half past don't worry i will show you but look at that fuchsia, it's just the most vibrant colour. So I know the outside of my bag would be in this colour because then I'd never lose it. But I would, but I would never lose it if that made sense. It's just such a beautiful... Brighten up your garden, that's a good idea for cushions. Because we're not now unfortunately all spending quite a lot of time at home. So you can make some lovely cushions to brighten up your garden. Great time of the year to be brightening up places, which unfortunately we don't have a choice about. It's got to be done. As long as you're all staying safe, that's all that matters. Oh, this is beautiful. Do you know what? I liked the colours before I unfolded them, but each time I've unfolded them, I'm liking them even more. I am definitely getting a metre of each of these. And it's the first time on air at Sewing Street, and I'm hoping it doesn't sell out before I get my order in. That's the only disadvantage of doing this, that you normally end up getting to see the fabrics and things the same time you all do. So I don't get a chance to get my order in. So hopefully there'll still be some stock left because I think they're moving reasonably well. And now we've got the navy. Do we have a before and after shot of what the fabrics look like before? I'm going to do them that way so you can see this. That's what they looked like before. I need a course on how to fold the fabrics. So I have a funny story. My lovely friend Sylvia, she got me one of those, um, well, she got Andrew one of those uh, T-shirt folding things uh, where you actually then, it's like a clipboard and then you fold it in four different ways and your T-shirts miraculously appear in your cupboard all folded up nicely for you. <laughs> so I think we need to get one of those for me for these fabrics here. But this is a lovely, lovely navy. What colour is selling the best at the minute? The teal and then the okra. Oh, that's a nice colour combination together. Oh, I like that teal and okra idea. But I'm going to have to have pink handles with it because I love that pink. And then this is the black. And it's also such a lovely black because sometimes you get blacks that are a bit brown or this is a really nice solid black with one of my threads on it there. You can just see a nice white thread. I'm sorry, I have to get rid of that. <laughs> Can't leave that there. Uh, let's try that again. 
can always tell a quilt about the amount of threads that they're leaving behind. So it's just a really lovely black, this as well. So you were saying the teal and the okra are selling really well. So let's have a look at that because I love the black. I think black looks really good in all colors. And then the teal and the okra, look at that. That's a lovely colorway. The pitter patter of Joe's feet trotting around there, blessing. That's a really lovely colorway that. And it's annoying because this doesn't, this is a much brighter teal than it's showing on the camera because I'm looking at it here and it's beautiful. So you can see that goes really well. See now what I would also be looking to do is, because I love my colors, what about that? And this is quite bold, it's quite out there, but that's quite a, that's a colorway as well. And I love the fact the apple butter is just creeping in in the corner there. But the other thing as well is sometimes maybe the colors that you least expect would work really well. Look at that. But of course you've got to have the white lining or the white color. So have a look at that. But it just changes so much with one different colorway. So maybe you're looking at this and thinking, actually, that's a nice little bag, but I want to have some handles. So pop the black in for some handles. At $3.99 for half a meter, that's almost the price of a coffee. And unfortunately we can't do that at the moment, so buy fabric instead, stay at home and sew. I know that's what I'm gonna be doing. So for Debbie's, we've got Debbie's books after this and as well, but I'm sorry, this is just, I am addicted to that. That I'm so in love with. And this teal, I'm very much in love with. And I'm looking at these, even the navy. Even the navy looks really good in that. And of course, I'd always have my light lining. But I wonder if the, wonder if, well, you see, the thing is as well, they all go so beautifully. Oh my goodness. We have now had, a, this is the first time I've, the third time I've had an early bird and we've officially sold out. I have to take it away. And have to throw it. I was I was never taken for the netball team. Oh god, I've just broken that one. Sorry. <laughs> but early bird is sold out. Our first time, well, my first time of having an early bird sold out. You've gotten a great deal there. Enjoy it. And send us pics of what you do with them. Anything you hang on them, send us pics. We love getting involved with that. So the great, and if you're gonna paint them, pick what colours you're gonna paint them. You see, I'd be doing them that colour. But these are just such a lovely colorway as well. But even, even, oh, getting rid of the teal and oh, the, the, the sky blue, that looks really good as well. There's just so many different options here. So say you didn't want the teal, maybe you wanna try the okra with it. Oh my gosh, I love that. But the great thing is at this price, you know, we all want good quality, we want good value. Being able to have fabric at $3.99 for a half meter, I would buy a half meter of all of them just because that's the person that I am. But you know, then you get that and then you go through one of these books and you see what fabrics you need or how much you need for them. And then you can just decide what you'd like. I'm gonna change that back to the colorway I had because that is the bag, that's the bag I want to make. There we go, that's the bag I want to make with the lining, the lining being in the white. But I'm torn between the navy and the black. I'm torn between the navy and the black because I think the navy is stunning, but I think the black might be good. Ooh, there we go. So that's my little combination there. That doesn't mean the other colors aren't amazing. It's just that we, you know what it's like, everybody has different colorways and what they love. Do you know what, I had, I can't remember who I did the bags with, was it Angela Presley? It was Angela Presley. She had that amazing mustard PU, and I'm just thinking, oh, the PU with this would work really, really well. So let's start, shall we do, let's do the backpack, do you wanna do the backpack bag first? We'll do the backpack, backpack bag first. 
So the great thing about Debbie's books is every single one of them has this really thoughtful little, I don't know what you call it, a little a wrap around springy thing. I know that's not what it's called, Debbie. Please don't send messages in saying it's called this because that's what I call it. <laughs> but the great thing is, is inside you've got all your plastic templates and your plastic templates are kept safe in this little plastic wallet. So you've got a lovely little plastic wallet, all the overheads, the, all the overheads, um, overhead camera. <laughs> I'll learn talk back one day. All the templates you need are in this little wallet here. And these templates will make all of the products in here. And the book can come out as well, if I'm not mistaken. So you can then either take that and put it to one side and read the book or if you want to leave the book in here watch me try and get this back in in 12 seconds flat of course i can do it but whether i can do it on air there we go oh, look at that and sorry look at that that's worth its weight in gold the debbie shaw has actually touched this book and signed it Thank you, Debbie. I've met her. She's lovely. She's really, really lovely. So the great thing is, is let's say, for example, you wanted to make the quilted backpack because I'm a quilter. You then take this wonderful little bookmarky thing, or I, as I called it, the strappy holder zappy thing, and you put it there. And you know that when you come back to the book, you are like, oh, what was I making? And then you flop it open and there it is. So I love this. Is that the great thing with Debbie is she's done this for, for a while, but she's done them a lot because she's so cleverly thought out every single little detail that I'm, I'm sure Debbie sat there and thought, oh gosh, I had a bookmark in there. Um, I've lost my bookmark page. You know what? This will be so much easier. And it's something that you wouldn't have even thought of and she's already done it for you to make your life easier. So you've got the quilted backpack as one of the examples here. We've got... Oh, look at the little bear, little bear drawstring bag. So here you could do a turquoise for his nose or the bottom or the teal for the bottom. That's the turquoise there. Oh, we could use the okra for his nose. And of course, I love my bright pink, so I would have bright pink for the corners. But even look at that. Look how beautiful that colorway is. It works really well. So the thing with this book is so great is that she actually, she, she, Debbie, teaches you the core techniques. And by teaching you the core techniques, you could then make the tie pocket rug sack and put the face on. And you could then go and have a little puppy dog sitting on there with his little mouth into the pocket. Because she gives you all the templates in the front. She gives you all the techniques on how to do it. Because at the front here, you've got all the hardware, all the techniques, the machine, what you're going to be needing to do. Um, somewhere along here, she does the opening strap. She does the close strap. She goes through absolutely every single thing you could possibly need. Even the magnetic um, snap fasteners, which I'd never even seen or used until Angela Presley came on. And oh, I am going to criticize Debbie for one thing here, my darling. Uh-uh, lock your blade. Lock your blade. <laughs> but Debbie and her husband do this together because he's a photographer and he takes all the pictures. So it's a nice to that it's a family effort. Oh, look at that one. Sorry, I'm getting distracted. Look at that little bear. It's so cute. So when I said you can adapt them as you go, that's what Debbie intends. And you can go and you can see like all the different ways of putting a zip in because that zip goes all the way across the top. So maybe you wanted to make this, but put a zip across the top. It's a slightly different bottom because you've got the drawstrings on it, but you can then go and put that on the top, perhaps. You just then go through the templates and you can create your own little bag from this. The book is $12.99. There are 15 different products on there, 15 different projects, but also endless variations. So just looking on that, is that about 88p or 87p a pattern? 15 patterns, so it's 12.99 divided by 15. I'm an accountant, I should be able to do this, but I can't. 86 pence per pattern. Now you can't go wrong with that. And it's signed. That's at least a fiver, isn't it? Because I'm just thinking now, 
Can you see, can we zoom in on that? Because Debbie, I don't think is going to be very happy about this, but can you see how much it's meant to be? That looks more like what it should be costing. But if you look at the price over there, it's not $17.99. Don't tell Debbie, don't tell Debbie. But it's just such a great book. And it's these are the backpacks, because I think backpacks are quite fun. They can be really, really thoughtfully made. Look at the little teddy bear. Sorry, every time I look at this, a tiny little teddy bear that she's crocheted and put on with it, or maybe she's knitted it. It's... I'm just hearing now that the little teddy bear is from her grandma. Oh, that's wonderful. How lovely. I miss my granny. So there we go. Sorry, just a little bit of a moment there. But look at all the different bags that you got the doggy again. But you can see this doggy, I'm just thinking now, because we had, when I was telling you, so you can see this drawstring button but down bag there, you've got a slightly different one with a magnetic pop, but it's a similar pattern because you've got the bottom there and the bottom there, and you can see they're ever so slightly different. So she teaches you how to do the different tops and the different bottoms, and all the templates for each of these bags are in here. So you know, that, you know that Debbie, having done this for so long, she would have gone through absolutely every template. She would have patent tested this within an inch of her life, because that's just who she is. She's so, so, so meticulous on making sure that you've got a great product that's going to work for everybody, because she wants to make sure that you're having fun and enjoying it. So that's the backpack book. She's got many bag books, which I'm very excited about. We can do the occasions book next. Only because I did this one the other day with Angela Presley, 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 Presley. Why did I call her Priestley then for a second? I'm so sorry, Angela. She's going to smack me if I get that wrong. And I know that Angela did, and the only reason I remember this is she did page 52. <laughs> this is what we did with Angela Presley the other day. 52, a scalloped flap clutch bag. And she, um, Angela popped a lovely little flower on the corner there using a button that she'd had in her collection. And it was really, really, really clever. And don't worry, we've got six minutes until we do those. I'm being restricted, half an hour, got to do it on the half hour. So this book is for your occasional bag. So you've got a zip clutch bag. You've got a cosmetic bag. You've got all these different projects. But, you know, I would, I'm always doing EPP, so I'm always looking for somewhere to put my um, unpicker, my little embroidery, scissors, my needle and thread. This is perfect for it. I know it says cosmetic bag, but you can use it for whatever you like. You see, I might even be a little bit exact, a little bit ex exuberant to make one of those and have a clutch bag because I always get quite jealous that you ladies get to use oh, no no I'm gonna do this one no this is my EPP bag I'm gonna do that one a fringed handbag and top tip if you could do the fringe out of PU it doesn't fray never knew that before Angela told me that when she was came in and did her demo but these are just really cute little bags and there she's done some quilting on it this is a patchwork clutch and the template is from the templates there are from her template in the front here. I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to see. There's her template there. Can you see the little heart? You can see the little heart there. That is the stitching line for what she's done there. So every single thing that you could possibly need to make all these different bags is all in here. And I'm just going to double check. Is this one signed? Ooh, this one isn't signed. This is not signed. However, look at that price. $15.99 on there. $15.99. But if you look over there, it's not $15.99. Don't tell Debbie. Don't tell Debbie. But that's a really good saving because this is a really great bag. And if the other one was 15 projects at $12.99, this is 15 projects at $11.99. And again, look at all these different, just looking on the front cover there, this okra would look beautiful with that. But I would think, look at that. Look at that as a lovely colorway there. If you were doing the okra on the top and you did the, the lavender on the bottom, look how beautiful that would look. And then of course, 
me always wanting to add an, a third colour into everything, your handle in that would just flow so beautifully. Or your lining, your lining and your handle in that. It's just there's so many different colourways and at these re really good prices, it's silly not to consider, to consider getting as many fabrics as you can. So we also have another bag called Satchels. There it is. <clears throat> I've just emptied the set of everything there. I feel like we need to have something in there. <laughs> Sorry, I hate it when there's an empty bit. So here we've got the wonderful, shall I pop these back on the little shelves where we go? Because otherwise I'm going to get confused. We've got the occasion bags. And look at that great big pile of Tilda. I'm so excited. And also you've got my favourite Tilda book back, which I'm very excited about. So again, Debbie has thought of everything with her little strappy bit there. Signed again. Is this one signed? Oh, I love Debbie. It just makes you feel really good when you see the authors actually touch your book and signed it. And also that you know that Debbie loves you. It's always good to know when Debbie loves you. Not quite sure she's going to love me after me wittering on about her books like this. But oh my gosh, look at these drawstrings. I've got that fabric. Sorry. <laughs> I have that fabric. <laughs> Not sure I would make a drawstring satchel bag, but I, maybe I will actually. That's beautiful. That's really pretty. And you got, oh, the quilt of oh, that is very good for keeping projects in. A quilted flap satchel. Oh, that's very pretty. And I definitely have that fabric as well. Side pocket satchel. Oh, I'm just hearing that our charcoal fabric is selling really, really well. That's good to hear. And then we've got the super sized satchel. Oh, that is quite big. That's lovely. And again, this is Debbie's usual way of doing her books. Is she teaches you the basics on how to make the uh, various bags. Then you can adapt them and make your own bags how you want to do them. Here's a zipped bag as well, which is also very good for quilting and putting projects in and taking them to days out with all your bits and bobs that you need. You've got the Simply Square satchel. It doesn't just look so elegant with that beautiful buckle on there. They look so professionally made. It does make me worry though that my first bag, because I've never made a bag before, would not look anywhere near as good as that. But I do know that if I actually just read the instructions as Debbie wrote them, it would. Read the instructions as they are written. Look at those, that is so clever. Really clever little, because you see, we all get these little hardware bits. We see something that's really, really pretty. And we think, oh, one day I'll buy that and use that. But look at all these wonderful little clasps and things going together. Lovely little bag, that one. I'm definitely keen to make that one. What's that one called? Back pocket satchel. Oh, I like that. And again, we've got the twisted lock satchel, which is again using two or three different colours. So that may play in really well with this, because I'm just looking at those two together. That may look really well on there. So that's the sky blue and the lavender. That may look really pretty as a bag as well. And I think there's a third colour there as well, which I think they've used, which is, this is the charcoal, isn't it? So that's the one that's selling really well there. So sometimes people struggle with colours. That's a really nice colour way for that bag. That's a really nice colourway for that bag. So, are you ready for some Tilda? I feel bad that I've stopped halfway through Debbie's book, but I can't wait anymore. I'm getting the okay to do the apple butter from Tilda. So this is just such a lovely, lovely collection. We all know we've had Tilda on before and their fabrics are always so, so lovely. And I'm leaning in closely because I just want to get closer to the fabrics. Am I okay unpacking these? Remembering that I cannot fold them to get them back in. I'm going to start with this one. Oh. So this is back in stock, because I think I've had this on the show before, but it sold so quickly on that one. I think we may have sold out on that hour of doing it, but oh, look at them. Look at that. 
and that little pitter patter of feet is Joe running to the camera to make sure that we zoom in nice and close for you to get the exact. Oh, that might be a bit close, Joe. <laughs> there we go. Because I'm always worried when he takes that off, it'll be on me. So these are two, four, six, eight, ten fat quarters. Ten fat quarters there, and they are £31.99. So that's working out at three pounds, almost three pounds twenty per fat quarter, and you can't go wrong with that. They are just such great quality. Um bum, bum, bum. And look at them, and they coordinate so well together. They just coordinate so well together. The whole range coordinates well together. Before I unwrap them all and destroy the beautiful fold, I'm going to put these out so you can see just how beautifully these go together. I'm going to fan them if I can, get as many in my hand as I can. Can you do the overhead? So the great thing with fat quarters is you can do absolutely anything with them. If you're a beginner and you're just starting out, my top tip for a fat, for a fat quarter, my top tip for somebody who's just starting is buy a fat quarter bundle like this. And all you do then is, I'm going to just use this one as an example. You take this and you measure the shortest length. So normally that's this way from here to here and you work out how many squares you can get out of each piece. And let's say it's gonna be a four inch square, so usually you'll get it between four and five across, and you'll get between four and five down. So you'll get about 16 to 20 squares out of each one. And then what you do is just randomly, or you plan it, you just pick them all out, and you sew these together into squares. You just take the squares, and I'm gonna open this one up as a square, and you just sew them together and you just make a really simple patchwork quilt doing that way. And my top tip if you're just beginning is, if you're going to do four there, let's say you're doing four there, offset your next row. Because if you offset your next row and your quarter inch doesn't work, it doesn't matter. So you can see all you do then, and then the next row you put these down there, and you just fill out the area for as long as you can. And then the green one comes in as well, that'll be the start of your next row. So you can see that there are four there, there are five there, and there's a... But you don't have to do it that way. If you're feeling confident and you want to make sure that you're going to get it right, you do it that way. And you get everything all laid out. I always like a cheat, so that's why I off-centre them, because my quarter inch is normally a little bit loose, shall we say? And that way then, if you're a little bit out, you're not going to always spend the rest of your life thinking, oh, that corner didn't meet on my first quilt ever. I mean, that corner didn't meet. It just offset them ever so slightly, and that just gives you a really simple, easy quilt. This fabric has been on a, um, a few times before, so we've ordered in as many as we can possibly get in. They're already going fast, so if you do want them, make sure you get them in your basket and check out, because until you check out, it's not yours. Because if it's on the website and somebody phones into the call center they can whip it out your basket i know it sounds terrible but if it's not paid for it's not yours just yet so make sure check out with it as soon as you can so we've shown these fabrics there and i'm going to show you this color as well because the color just the colors are so cleverly they're just so fresh and beautiful we've got the one day p and p as well so don't forget that if you bought something in the first hour you're then only paying the one p and p in the second hour all throughout the day and on the website www.sewingstreet.com just after the preview screen with all the youtube clips you'll be able to change the number of products that you see on a page you can go from 24 products to 96 which means there are less changes on your screen uh, next less page movements on your screen to be able to see everything in one go and then we've got this beautiful what are we calling this one it's sort of like a navy or a turquoisey blue not sure what we'd call it you can decide. Have a little look and see. Oh gosh, we've got less than 20 of these now. So if you are interested in getting one, don't hang about. Not sure when we'll be able to get them again, because as you know, most of these fabrics, if you love them and you don't get them, then sometimes you can't get them again. 
And as I always say, you always regret the fabric you leave behind. Gosh, we're down to 15 now. So I don't actually know if I'm going to have time to open these all up before they're all gone. So I'm just going to show you the solid for that one. And then we're going to do, we'll just show you the spotty ones. Do you want to open the full? We'll just do a little bit of those because there we go. That saves me opening and trying to attempt to fold these back as well. Because poor Joe's going to have to fold these all back afterwards. This one's my favorite on it. I love this tealy green. And it does look like a little bit under the sea, little fishy bubbles and it's just, or if like a snowstorm as well. If you look at it that way, it's a bit of a snowstorm too. Because I as anything that reminds me of Christmas can stay. I annoyed all my friends this week telling them that it was only nine months till Christmas Day. <laughs> How do I have any friends left? And I think that's all of the colours. I feel like I've lost one. One, two, three, four, five. Nope, I've done them all. Done them all. And then you've got the coordinating solids for each one. Ten fat quarters in this bundle, uh, and that's coming in at thirty-one ninety-nine for the ten fat quarters, and for the tilde apple butter. Um, and the fat quarters are twenty by twenty-two inches each, hundred percent cotton, and they recommend you wash on a forty-degree wash. Whoever does the washing in your household, make sure you tell them. I wouldn't even know how to use my washing machine. Oh gosh, so we are very low on these now, so if you are interested, make sure you do check out. I'm going to put those there and hopefully, hopefully that will hold. And I'm going to pop that there as an apple butter so you know which one it is. So now we're going to do the Tilda Lazy Days 5-inch charm packs. Just look how cute these are. Oh, I'm going, to, I'm going to fold that up a little bit so I can fan these to you. Oh, there we go. And this, I know that people in the office have bought this as well for foundation paper piecing. And you can see just how fun. Oh, let me get this that way there. No, don't refrain. Oh, Joe is so kind. He just said, John, is that comfortable for you? And I'm sitting there like this going, not really. <laughs> and he's come back and he's reframed the camera. Oh, he's an absolute gem. The great thing about a skeleton staff is you do get preferential treatment on it. This was my favorite one, which we, I showed in the um, Fat Quarters a couple of weeks ago. So I love this echo, echoing of the lines all the way through. They're just really clever. And I think you get two of those. You do, but it might be different colorways. No, it's just a different position on it. So you get two of each design, that's right. When you haven't looked at them for a little while, you'll be able to, you, you forget what's in there. You can just see these beautiful colorways there are just so clever. So two of each of these in the design, and it's a great way to be able to see um, all the colorways of the tilde, and you get them in all the different um, designs. And it's also nice to have a charm pack that you actually know that you're getting two of each color, because some of them you only get one of them, and it's always the one that is your favorite you don't get two of. You see, these ones are my favorite. I love these. And I'm not sure you'll be able to find this charm pack at a lower price, um, but because it's just such a great product. Oh, look at that one. Just look at the detailing on it. It's just so beautifully done. And it's all those tiny little dots that they just find the perfect way to put a dot or a line just to make the fabric so, so, so wonderful and so desirable. So yes, that's $14.99. Don't forget to check out if you are interested on it. And I didn't manage to destroy that packaging, which is great. Shall we do the tote bag book? I've been told I can play with the Tilda quilt book. This book is my absolute favorite quilt book at the minute, simply because of the amazing products that you've got in it. Um, the snowmen, 
for the pillow. You get the snowman for the pillowcase, which is just too cute. And this is for $14.99. And I found, the great thing about this product, I found, for example, this one, I would call that a beginner quilt because it's just straight line sewing, couple of triangles, stitch them together, voila, you have your quilt. It's perfectly evenly balanced. You've got this one, which is a nice, easy, simple quilt. But equally, look at that. And this is where you can, I think this is a charm pack friendly one. It is. So this is a charm pack, fr uh, charm pack friendly quilt that you could use these charm packs in this quilt, all the different designs. Obviously you will need to check the book and the pattern to see how many you would need. And then you can just arrange these how you like. But equally, because you've got the beginner section of it, you also have the advanced section where you're going to be able to have these little fairy cake visions and the little, I don't know whether that's a little doll or an angel or a, a mum, same thing really, angels and mums. But look at all these different cakes and everything together. But I see this I think is an advanced quilt. So what I love about this book is you have got those beginner sections where you've got slightly more intermediate ones where you've got a little few more triangles and then the more comfortable you feel, look at that. Just the stars, but then with the little birds in between. It's just so thoughtfully done. And you can see on the fabric how beautifully it turns out as well. Because doing an image is great, but seeing it in the fabric is so good. So this book, I do think, like this is another beginner project. You've got the beginner projects, you've got the intermediate projects. And I'm just looking for my favorite one that was in this book. You see like this one has the dreaded curved seam in it. But look how cute they are. And it's only a pillow. So if you mess it up, it's only a pillow. The cat can sleep on it and be quite happy with it. They won't mind if your seams aren't quite right. But you can see behind it as well, they've made it into a quilt as well. So they've extended it. So the great thing is, is this book, you will grow with the book. And it's not that you need to buy three or four different books, because you can see you've got the quilt then. When you're comfortable with curved seams, you've made your cushion, you're then making one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten cushions, taking your half portions all the way along. You're making ten cushions and you've got a quilt. And that quilt is 52 and a half inches by 73 and a half. How can you go wrong with something so cute? So you've got these quilts that can go as a beginner, Intermediate, we're back to another intermediate one, which are the, the, um, the stars. With the tilde backgrounds and the tilde fabrics, it would just flow so beautifully. And then this one's probably a little bit more beginner, intermediate beginner, where you've got your Dresden plate style flowers. It's just so cleverly done. I'm just trying to find, where was that one? This, look at that teapot range. It's just so cleverly done. It really, really is. I found one earlier, the Plum Village. Was it the Plum Village? There it is. That's the one I was looking for. I showed you that earlier, which has had the, the mummy and the, the cakes and everything. And you've got all the templates in the back of everything that you're going to need it for. So it's a really, really good book and something. And most of them, you've got the example where if you wanted to make a cushion. Sorry, I've turned the page too quickly. You want to make a cushion and you want to make a quilt, they've got the option for both. So it's a really, this has definitely been one of my top books that I've seen in quilting for a little while. Um, and I really, really enjoyed this because it's just got all the different, that was the quilt I was looking for as well. You've got all these different um, circles, this quilt here. And you can just see all the quilts on the front there, they vary, so you've got the cushions here, you've seen the quilt of that and you've got the cushions now as well. It's just a clever way of doing it and that has been my favourite quilt book for a little while now. Oh, we've had a message in from Poppy. Hello Poppy. She's been very pleased to have that we've got the apple butter back in stock. Good. Well, check out soon. I'm not sure how many we've got left, but we had less than 15 a few minutes ago. So now we're going to work our way through all the other Tilda products. Um, so let's start with this blue one, the Lazy Days, the blue. And somebody's already opened these before. Um, I don't feel so bad about them not folding them back together. I wonder if they're open like this, if they can slip into your bag. I would never. But look at these, they're just so cute. Do you want me to open these? Let me open these. 
You can see just the detailing in between each flower as well is so thoughtful. I think that's upside down. I'm going to do that. There we go. This is called the Lazy Days Fat Quarter Bundle. Are they different colours? Because I see there's another Lazy Days over here as well. There's two more. I think this is the blue one. We've got the lilac, we've got the blue, the lilac and the coral. I'm showing you the blue at the moment as well. And that's the first blue. This one is my favorite of them because look at the detailing on those. I'm convinced I'm holding these all upside down. But I don't think that matters really. If you're unsure about the code, make sure you have a look at the website. Failing which, give the, the call centre a call. Obviously the call centre is doing the best that it can to keep everything moving smoothly. Your call may take a little longer than usual to get answered. But please just bear with us as everybody is in the most extraordinary of times. So everybody is doing their level best. So just if you have to wait a few minutes extra, thank you so much for your patience. I know you understand why. We're all trying to get to you as quickly as we can because we just want happy customers. I think I've got this the right way around, but look how fun that is as well. So we're showing you this in the blue collection. That's the blue. And this one's really fun as well. I'm not going to open them all completely. We, these are 20 by 22 inch fat quarters. So you can see the fabric and the, the makeup of it. It's really, really cute. And then we've got this. I must have folded this back up. Because <laughs> it doesn't look anything like it did originally. And you see, that's a really lovely way as well. I'm convinced I've got these all the wrong way round and upside down. I'm going to fold that that way. So that's the blue collection. So the designs are all the same, just the colorways are also slightly different. So we have the lavender, lilac, lilac, forgive me. But the, you can tell how close to the other colours they are. Am I opening this one? I think we're going to lay these next to each other and put them on the overhead if you don't mind. So you'll be able to see from the previous ones that we had. It's just a slightly different colourway. Shall I put the blue behind it so they can see what the combination is? So the one behind, of course, I'm folding this really well at the moment. So this row here is the lilac and the row I'm putting here is the, is the blue row. So you'll be able to tell the difference between the two. And you might want to buy both because it's a really lovely color combination. Or get them all in the charm pack. That's a much better idea. But charm packs, you may not have enough fabric in there, and if, like me, you like having that little extra, just in case, you never know what you might want to make. The joy of folding these correctly the first time, John. And I'm going to have to squeeze that in the middle. Did that work? There we go. So the lilac is this one here. I just wanted to show you the comp comparison to the blue because the blue I showed you the fabrics earlier. So you can see that the lilac has a slightly different background. The, the what is blue there is slightly different and you can just see how they change ever so slightly with the colorways there. So that's the lilac. Shall I leave those there and do the coral as well? I'm gonna put the coral in too. So I'm gonna try and keep these together. Now the graphic on at the moment is for the coral, so I'm going to pop these in here. So at the moment, this one is the lilac, that one at the top of your screen is the lilac. This is the coral, coral, and then this is the blue. 
So I think that then gives you an idea of how it just changes all the way through for the colorway. But equally, if you're feeling that you want to spoil yourself, that's the coral that's got the um, graphic in at the moment. This is the lilac that the graphic was on previously, and that was the blue one which we started originally. All available on the website, and all of them are $14.99 for five fat quarters. So you definitely can't go wrong with having a little look at those. And they are very, very lovely fabrics. So I'm going to just pop these over there. So I'm going to just, we've got a few other tildes to go through as well. I'm just noticing that brown bundle over there. They're really pretty as well. I'm stretching over, forgive me. So this one is called the Plum Garden. Ooh, I like those. So are we okay? Let me, we've got enough space here. Let me get these out of the way. So the Plum Garden is what we're looking at now. And this is five fat quarters. So these ones are slightly more expensive. They're $16.99 for five. So that's the first one. And then this is the second one. We all know the fat quarters here are 20 inches by 22. And they're a lovely sweet colorway, aren't they? They're really sweet. And then this is the third one. And then this is the fourth one. It's got little ducks on it. And these are gonna be sideways, forgive me little duckies. Because I'll try and get you that way, but that's the wrong way away as well. There you go, slightly on the right way. And then the last one in this collection is the Paisley. But you can just see the detailing on it is so clever. And the, the, fa the colors all work so beautifully together. So that is the Plum Garden collection now. And now this one is Tea Towel. These ones are really cute because when you look at them instantly, you think, oh my goodness, they're tea towels. Because they, they look exactly like what you'd expect a traditional tea towel to look like. They don't feel like that. They definitely don't feel like that. So that's your first one. Um, and that's your second one. And these are now six fat quarters here, and those are coming in at $18.99 for the six fat quarters. And these tea towel ones are really cute. A couple of months ago, I actually made tea towels for the first time. And it's really quite fun making tea towels, because all you're doing is you're taking a fat quarter and putting a, a seam around the edge to make sure it doesn't fray. But these are really cute because they're quite traditional with their, um, the tea towels. And it's quite nice to make a little tea towel that's all your own. And that's the last one there. So there we go. Let's start to get, let's have a little look. So that's our tea towel range. I'm going to just move that slightly out of the way. We're going to look again at our apple butter, which has been very, very popular this hour. Um, this is called apple butter. We've got 10 fat quarters here for $31.99. And you can now see that you've got a combination of five of these in the different colorways. And then you've got five corresponding solids. I'm gonna open up one of these so you can just get a reminder of what you're looking at. And you can see that, do you wanna pop that on camera too? So that is what you're getting, five of those just in different colorways. And then you've got a corresponding solid with it. Um, that ties into the different colorways. These were down to about 15 that were left. We're not sure how many we've got left now. Computers always go slowly on a Sunday when you need them. But this is a really lovely one. This is the second time we've had them in. Not sure if and when we'll be able to get those in again, but that's the apple butter range, $31.99 for the, um, yes. So we're gonna have a little quick look at the recap of the quilt bundles from the first hour pop them all the way over there. So we've got our coordinating fabrics, which we've looked at before, all available on the website. So we've got our white, 
we've got white at the bottom, you've got ivory which is slightly lighter, you've got a light grey and you've got a school grey. So those are all available by the metre and if I'm not mistaken those are 698 a metre. Um, and then today we've got the Janet Clare Ebb and Flow fat, um, layer cake um, and a wonderful pattern that goes with the quilt design that I showed you earlier and made up. And that's the Janet Clare Ebb and Flow and you've got the Amelie pattern there. This pa quilt will come out at 48 inches by 56. So that's the first bundle that we had. The second bundle we have is the front porch one. This was the one that was doing incredibly well earlier in the show, uh, in the first show. So again, you've got the layer cake for that and you get the pattern and that's $54.99 for that one. And then the last one of these is the Heart, Sweetheart Harmony layer cake and the pattern. Again, the, pat the layer cake makes a quilt that is 48 by 56 inches and you'll just need to get some coordinating fabric, uh, roughly a metre of coordinating fabric for all three of those quilt bundles. And that's why we've got the coordinating bundle, uh, coordinating fabrics in those bundles there. I feel like we've got so much to go. I'm just going to recap on these amazing um, first time on that we've got these. Um, these are all available on the website. These are canvas 100% cottons, $3.99 for a half metre. Um, the colours that were doing really well at the beginning of the show were the okra, okra and was it the lavender? Um, teal. The teal. These two together were doing really, really well, as you can see why. I have definitely decided I'm getting a metre of those um, six there. One, two, three, four, five, six, yes. Um, hoping I can get that through management, being my husband. Um, but again, these fabrics are equally as lovely. Have a check on the website. You can see they're all so, so fresh and lovely. Really good feel to these fabrics as well. Um, just because they're a canvas, they don't have that scratchy feel to it that some of the muslin and fabric that you do buy. And you can see then you've got all the different colors there. Just me not being in the right position for the camera. But it's just a lovely, lovely product to have been able to bring you today. These work really, really well with all of Debbie Shaw's books. So you've got her four different books. We didn't get to do the tote bag book. Have a little check on previous shows. We've got that there. We've got the fabulous Tilda um, Charm Pack, Lazy Day Charm Pack. Two of each design. And then the Lazy Day Fat Quarter Bundles. We've got those in... Um, the four different color, three different colorways there, and we've got the plum garden as well. Um, tomorrow, Joe, what have we got on tomorrow? We've got fabulous fabrics in the first hour and tools for the second hour with moi. So I'm looking forward to seeing you tomorrow morning at nine o'clock. Um, I'm going to just gush about this Tilda quilt book one more time because it is so good and I am, I'm really, really, I just, that was the quilt I was looking for. So you've got a combination of curves and John trying to get to the right camera without a glare, there we go. So you've got all the curves and all the beautiful things there and you can make different, that's called the plum quilt. And the great thing with this is you can do the plum village pillow which combines everything together. Because I love this book because you can do a combination of pillows and quilts. So if you are looking for a quilt book that'll take you from beginner all the way through to advanced, have a little look at that, look at the reviews on it and see what you think. Um, I'm not sure what else to say. Um, I hope you're all staying safe, staying in and sewing. We've got our wonderful Facebook page, Sewing Street TV, failing which we've got the Sewing Street fans page. Make sure you pop all your details on there. Um, yesterday's show will be repeated after this show. Um, and I'll be back with you tomorrow morning. Uh, I keep having a horrible feeling I've missed anything. All of you stay safe. Thank you all so much for your time today. It's been wonderful to be able to entertain you. And thank you for being here. Have a great day. Bye-bye.